Update 18.5, sans of that word. <laughs> I would pronounce it, but I had about three or four different variations of that go through my head there. So, yeah, sans of something. Because I'm not pronouncing that until... I'm probably going to get it terribly wrong. Enoris? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, one of the biggies to this actual update is a visual thing. This is why it was a 4 gig update. Taking the total download for this if you install it new to apparently 20 point something. And you can actually see it on Ash's back here. It's lit up from a light source that kind of... Yeah, I don't know where that light source is coming from. But I was wandering around the ship and I mean the reflections on the wall are so smooth now. Okay, granted, you can see that gold thing there. There's quite a lot of... Well, it looks... It's actually orange. <laughs> it's just the way the light reflected on it looked kind of goldy coloured. Anyway. That thing. Big orange shiny thing on the wall. You can see a lot of pixelation around it. That's because over the next few hot fixes and updates this will be getting defined a lot more this is basically the lighting on the wall you're looking at and it's so much smoother now like just straight up looking at the floor there the wall behind us there wow there's massive improvement there even that just on the way down wow the other biggie of course is the first thing a lot of people are going to notice is when you press T and chat comes up. Completely reworked, apparently. Not only that, but there are now smileys. Yeah, that's not going to get boring quick, is it? Uh, oh. Where is it? Well, you knew it was going to be in there somewhere, didn't you? Poop. Oh, the names aren't just white anymore either. And there are actually quite a few of these. Oh, you knew it was going to be in there somewhere. Devil. Credits. Platinum's actually in here as well. There's Platinum. And I don't know how well they're actually going to come out. <laughs> because they're so small. And there's so much detail in them. You can't... Suda. Um, Standin. Which Standin? There's lots of it. And of course, the Stalker also has one, as well as sleep, sleep. <laughs> so there's a lot of different changes in there. Trading, I wouldn't be surprised if the Platinum one pops up a lot in there. But this has raised a whole new level of problems in the chat where people are literally just going to be spamming the emotes constantly. Like... That. <laughs> I think the last thing I said was, oh yeah, poop, and whatever that one was. And I did mention it actually in there, but nonetheless. I can do it in that one all, all I want, because that's clan chat. But I like the way, if you look in the bottom corner, it actually flashes. It's gone now, because I've opened it up. But if there's a new message there, it'll kind of flash that. I don't know how the PM system works anymore. Not yet, anyway. But the list of people here is actually gone. You have to click this button to actually get this side to come out. Which will show you how many people and what the names are. And there it is. You knew it. Platinum, 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 platinum. <laughs> I called it. And of course, um, this has happened. Uh, the hell? He is actually here as well, look. Over there behind everyone. And... Wow, actually it can really tell the lighting changes in here. From the reflections on the floor to the rhino statue itself. It's weird, it was such a subtle thing to change lighting and everything else. I mean, look at the floor. That was lighting from... Volt, by the looks of it. Because he was the one flexing his muscles. But it was actually reflecting all over the place. Come on, do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, I moved. Damn it. That did look pretty cool anyway. But this is where you have to come to get the Sands of Sands of Inneros. That is the blueprint for the quest. Be warned, it does actually take one night and extract to build it. And there goes that orange stuff again. Oh, wait, that was me. How the... 
Okay, so Ash was doing that. I don't see an Ash there, though. It was Volt. That's weird. Okay, it's not actually me. It is Volt. Because he's standing right behind us. But yeah, I don't know why he's here. He's going to be here for a week. Obviously, this is to let people come in and get the uh, quest from him. After that, it's probably something he's going to bring all the time. And in fact, it was Volt. Confirmed. I caught it that time. There is also a new ship that looks pretty cool, actually. It, to me, unfortunately, it looks like what the Mantis should have looked like originally. With the legs down each side, round in the middle. To me, this should have came out as a, a Mantis reskin, because the Mantis was good. It looked cool. For the whole, however long, it was the only other ship. Then the other one came out and everyone kind of moved to that and yeah, they're all going to be flying this one now. The Mantis is going to fade into non-existence. I like the engines at the back as well. This actually looks pretty cool. Oh, it actually looks really nice. I'm kind of uh, hypnotized by it, to be honest. There is one thing that I really do want to check on before I actually end this one, though. And that's these ships are supposedly supposed to now kind of appear out the front but I haven't really looked through the notes to make sure that's actually made it in or not because can you imagine seeing the ships outside it's gonna look cool as hell there are so many weapon skins in here that you can only get from playing Conclave because they are expensive as hell but honestly some of these do look really nice though Oh, the Twin Vipers. Yep, I want that one. But I've got to play it by it. No! There is also a new quest before I go much further because I will probably completely forget about it. Uh, problem I have is I can't seem to find it. Anyway, there it is. The Sands of blah blah blah. Open the message from Barrow Katiara. Obviously, I will cover this in its own video. I'm not going to do this right now. But this is how you obtain the new Warframe. Yes, there is a new Warframe. But god damn, that actually looks cool there, the way it's kind of coming out. This looks like it could be an interesting quest, actually. And I bet you that thing is scannable in the middle as well. Mm. The new Warframe, Inaris, is a sand-based frame. His abilities look cool. You've got a spinning tornado type thing. Don't know much about it yet. There is also an alternate helmet for this as well. Right there. There is also the sandana it has on its back. It looks pretty cool and pretty damn expensive. That, of course, was the bundle that you can do or can, can get. You can get the frame by itself for 225 and there's the abilities i'm not going to go that much into it there is one thing about this frame that you really do need to know of before getting into this though apparently he's a pretty tough frame i haven't looked at the stats yet apart from the fact the keen eyed person will notice shields zero 550 health is actually a fair decent amount 200 armor yeah that's not that impressive actually was expecting more and only a hundred power. Um, doesn't look like it's the strong frame it promised to be, considering it has zero shields. But the way it works is it doesn't need shields. It's basically going to be like running the no shield nightmare mission constantly. But it supposedly looks like a good frame from everything I've heard so far. But again, the updates just happened, so. We'll get into him a bit more later on, but god damn it looks cool. Especially that spinning effect it can do every now and then. It's one of the abilities. Oh look, Sandstorm. Cue the joke. There are of course three new weapons. The only one that has a blueprint is the Mutalist Cernos. That is in the marketplace. We'll get onto the other ones a bit later, but yeah, 202 impact. And you gotta remember this thing is going to have Toxin on it somewhere. It has to, being a Mutalist weapon. But it doesn't say it has Toxin anywhere on there. And its crit chance is still pretty low. I like the Cernus, but it was never that good of a weapon. But this one, with 45% status, 
could actually be really nice. The Jewel Toxicalist, or however you want to pronounce that, I'm probably butchering the name on that as well, has 7 impact, 56 puncture, 7 slash, 16 on the accuracy, 1 fire rate. Its crit chance is only 5%, but its status is 35 with a magazine of 12. Being a dual wielding secondary, I'm actually looking forward to trying these things out. And the Lesion, it's basically a mutalist um, torpedo or whatever it was called, has 20 impact, 5 puncture, 75 slash. Again, not that good on the um, the crit chance coming in at only 5%. But again, its status is 30, so it looks like the three new weapons are based on status builds more than anything else. Of course, not to forget, there are new enemies. There is the Feral Cavat, which is basically the upcoming companion, like the Kubro, but it's a cat. And the Handler, which is the Hay Hayeka? Yeah, cannot pronounce that properly at all. And the third one is the Hayeka Master, which summons the Kubro or Kubro. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I'm gonna, I want to call them a cat, bro. But I'm trying to fight the urge to do it so badly. The blueprint for the dual tox, yeah, the dual toxic weapons, that makes it much easier, is in the infected lab. And it's actually not that much to actually build it, but it does, for some reason, take cryotic, which is quite a pain in the butt. And obviously that's got a three day research timer on it. The one thing that's kind of weirded me out here is the torpedo is not here, the new one, which is what originally when this lab was added, what we thought that was going to be. Yeah, that's not at all. That's the Scoliac. That's a whip. But doesn't that just look like a pole arm weapon, doesn't it? It really, really did. And a quick correction to earlier as well. The blueprint for the Lysion is actually in the marketplace as well for 25,000 credits. And again, it, it's going to eat up the weapon you actually use to put in there. I've looked all over for this weapon blueprint because I missed it the first time round. I have literally been everywhere. It's the main reason I went to the relay. I was looking for this blueprint. Turns out it was in the marketplace. I'm just a complete idiot and got so hyped about the update. I went over it several times and yeah what an idiot but there it is and oh this thing I, these weapons look so nice they really do there is also sabotage 2.0 which as you can see from the menu on the left there there are hidden caches now which is kind of a weird one i mean there was beforehand uh, on certain sabotage missions mainly in the void wow bad aim Bad aim. One of the things I do like is you can actually, in the relays, go in and you will have the arsenal in here. And you can go in and it's just like the arsenal on the ship. So you can change it in the relays. Kind of like the loadout options were beforehand, but just much better now. So you can load up everything from there. You're not just set to what you go into the relay on. Because obviously, from the relay, you can select the missions. So that's a nice touch. I actually like that quite a bit. But anyway, I'm going to leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.